Mexico will also see its water usage cut. All right, Chief Meteorologist Kevin Craig back with us this morning. We've uh, we actually went through a pretty long dry spell here in West Michigan. Yes, we did. Finally, uh, that was a, a bit of a relief from last week, and we got a lot of rain there, Kevin. Yeah, we did. We had uh, anywhere from two to four inches of rain. We may be seeing some more rain as we get into the weekend as well. That's going to be part of the forecast here over the next three and a half minutes. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Look at the blue sky and the sunshine out there. Another gorgeous day in West Michigan. We wait all year for this. Just very comfortable temperatures, low relative humidities, and that beautiful sunrise that's going to be happening out there in the next uh, couple of minutes, as a matter of fact. Here's the lower 48 states in the weather map. We've got high pressure and control. There's a low pressure system over the northeast that's kind of throwing or spinning some clouds and some showers, at least the, the, some energy back here. That could create a, an isolated shower as we get into the late afternoon and the evening hours. Most of us won't see that, but the chance will be there. It's that energy that's kind of uh, being thrown back. Plus, there's some moisture in the atmosphere. There's a little bit of lift. Uh, there's the daytime heating. There's a couple of different uh, things going on there, but uh, along and east of US 131, just like the last couple of days, there could be an isolated shower there. We're dry now. We've got some showers off to our north and west, a little stripe of some cloud cover coming in here. Even a couple of thunderstorms around the Cleveland area and that's about it. We're kind of sandwiched in between two systems right now and there we'll stay for the next uh, couple of days. Our current temperatures, well, it's 54 in White Cloud, 60 in Fremont. We have a temperature of 59 in Grand Rapids, 58 in West Olive. Down to the south, we're in the mid to upper 50s. Fairly comfortable temperatures this morning, 54 in Mended, 58 in Constantine. And as we look at our forecast for today, it features mostly sunny skies. Relative humidities are going to be fairly low, so it'll be comfortable. That isolated late afternoon or early evening showers possible, especially east of US 131. Highs today around 81 degrees with a northeast to turning north wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's what it looks like on future track. This is at 9 o'clock this morning. You can see some of those showers, the way they kind of float in from the north and east will be possible, but I don't think they're going to be very widespread. And then once the sun sets, they go away. We go back to just mostly clear to partly cloudy skies throughout our Thursday. It could be the same type of situation. Generally dry, mostly sunny to just partly cloudy skies with an isolated shower possible. Thursday night into Friday, that will wane and you could see what's coming on down the pipe here. It's an area of low pressure. Uh, it won't impact us on Friday, but by the time we get into Saturday, it's going to start to move in here. Uh, and you can see the great big counterclockwise circulation. Sometimes these upper level lows take a long time to just meander into, through, and out of the area. So I think this will start to set up shop and control our weekend. Let's look at our super seven day planner and we'll kind of outline a couple of things for you. First of all, for today, mostly sunny skies, maybe an isolated PM shower, 81 degrees there. Much the same for Thursday with highs around 82. Friday, we're about 84 degrees, and as we get into Saturday, there could be a little sunshine early on Saturday, but that next system is going to start to come in here, and by the p.m. and nighttime hours, there could be some rumbles of thunder or maybe some showers in here. Here's what it looks like on the uh, forecast map. Future track, this is the GFS model. This is Saturday at 6 a.m. Notice there's not much going on, but as the system gets a little bit closer, we'll increase the chances of some showers and thunderstorms Saturday evening, Saturday night, and the wetter day looks to be on Sunday. You can see the wide spread green there with the rain and this could meander right into Monday. You can see the low is still drifting on through the region. So we've got showers and thunderstorms in there for Sunday. Monday there's the chance of showers and if we put all that rain together, at least with the GFS forecast model, this is what it's showing for Saturday night, Sunday and into Monday. Anywhere from probably about a half an inch up to about an inch of precipitation is what it looks like and then we should kick that system out of here by the time we get into Tuesday with highs in the upper 70s. That's your forecast. It's 6.52. Let's take a look at traffic again. Here's Rob.